Hello YouTube, since I'm late, back for episode 24 of my Rotary Craft tutorial series. Um, so you guys were pretty uh, unanimous in wanting to see the offensive and defensive weapons next, and I don't blame you because they're pretty darn awesome. So we're going to start our uh, that section, and I'm just going to go straight down the list. So I'm sorry if the one you want to see is right at the bottom of the list in the handbook, but I'm literally going to go straight through the handbook. Um, we're going to start with the arrow gun, which is the, the simplest, the easiest to craft, easiest to use, most basic offensive defensive weapon in rotary craft. It's essentially an upgraded dispenser that can now only shoot arrows. So it's crafted incredibly simply with a dispenser, five steel ingots, and three base panels. It's really, really simple to get. It gives you the arrow gun. And all the arrow gun does is it fires uh, arrows. So if I place it down, put arrows in it, you just give it power. It's got a huge storage uh, for arrows, though, which is a, it's a lot bigger of a storage area than you would get in a, a dispenser. So, you know, it, this can hold a lot of arrows. And then you just uh, hook it up with power. I'm going to put a, a dyno here just because I am a, a creative coil and my lever. Now, um, at, at the bare minimum, it requires uh, 1024 kilowatts. So I could just give it 1024 newton meters at 1 radian per second. And now we have enough power. And if I step in front of it, it's going to shoot me. Now, at this level of power, if I spawn a spider in here... Wow, it just got one shot. And the reason that it's getting one shot is because of the torque. So the way that this arrow gun works is that um, the torque you know, d determines it, its power. So, faster input speeds increase the rate of fire, while higher torques make it fly faster, farther, and deal more damage. So if I break this and get the gun to fire without hitting me. Oh, it doesn't hit me because I'm in creative mode, it just flies. You see, it, it flies over there and it hits the, um, the block. Now, if we go in here and give it the output of a DC electric engine, 4 newton meters of torque at 256 radians per second, 256, 4, it's the same amount of power, but it fires a lot faster. But you'll notice it doesn't go as far only goes that far. And this can certainly go farther. At the amount of power we were giving it, uh, it would definitely have gone further than that. Now if I place a, sp a spider in here, it takes four shots. And it fires a bit too quickly, not every shot actually counts. Yeah, so the spider just wandered away. There we go. See? Now, if we give it uh, more power, let's go into our um, book here, and we'll give it the output of a steam engine, maybe. 32 newton meters at 512. 32 newton meters, 512. Now, it's very fast, and you see it's going all the way over here. So let's break more of this dirt, see how far we can make this go. You can see we're shooting quite a bit faster, and we're dealing more dam, and we're going to be dealing more damage. So let's place the spider down, and he dies in two shots at the output of a steam engine, which is quite easy to get. Now let's do something even more. We'll give it more power. We'll give it 128 newton meters at 512. 128. That's the output of. Oops. Ah, didn't want to do that. 512 radians. 128 newton meters. That's the output of a gas engine. we can see that it's firing quite far. I, I don't know. <laughs> the arrows are having a bit, of a, uh, a bit, a bit of trouble there. But if we place our spider down, yeah, he's he's going to take a lot of damage. He's going to take 15 damage the first time, then he's just going to die. So it's quite good, quite good. So let's 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 see if we can get a mob that has a, a bit more health because this thing will. Uh, let's see, where is it? Yeah, um, let's see if I can't spawn an iron golem. Do, do, do. What the heck is a Rosister? Iron golem. I think he should have more health, yeah? Let's um, fill in this fence in the back. Now, obviously, this would get blocked if I put a fence there. 
cool in there, though. There we go. And that iron golem died. Dropped his iron. And notice that even if there's a block, even if there's something blocking the arrows, the, the, the thing will still shoot. You know? Okay, so let's give this some more power. Let's give it the output of... Let's just go straight for a hydrokinetic engine. 16, 384 newton meters at 32 radians per second. 32 radians per second. 16, 384. Now, this is going to be slow firing, but the arrows would go really far and deal a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and... see how far this can fly. There we go, it's shooting at me. Now, I don't know if this is just if this is actually the range that it's going to, or if it's actually flying farther, but you can't tell. Ah, see? Okay, so it did actually fly this far. And that far, even. Not that far. Okay, so quite a bit of range on it when you give it a lot of power. And uh, if I put an iron golem in here. Quite a bit of damage. Okay, but we can keep ratcheting it up. Ra uh, ratcheting it up. <laughs> Gas turbine. <laughs> uh, 65, 536. 65, 536. And... Obviously you'd want to use gearboxes to tune this to whatever you want. 1024. Now at this speed it should fire a lot of arrows but they don't deal as much damage. Look at that spam. The arrows actually seemed to be bugging out a bit. So that at this amount of power, it's going to fire an arrow every 0.2 seconds. Which isn't ideal, which isn't really what you want. So, you know, what I think you'd probably want out of the arrow gun is you'd want a nice mixture of the two. You'd want to have a good amount of torque so that you could deal a good amount of damage. But you'd want to have, a, you know, a, a semi-decent speed. I think 512 is, is actually a pretty good speed for this. You know, it's a pretty respectable speed. It seems to slow down anyway when it's actually attacking. It seems to like tune itself to whatever speed the mobs will actually start taking damage at, for the most part. Because I think it could have been firing faster there. Anyway, we'll tune the torque up. 2048. This is a 1 megawatt. Did that take more shots? I don't know. Do do do. Eh. Bunch of power. Yeah. So see things like the iron golems, they take a lot of shots. But you see, you get the point of the arrow gun. It's a defensive weapon. It's an offensive weapon. But basically, if something steps in front of it, it's going to start shooting. Um, and it's going to keep shooting as long as there's something uh, mob in front of it and it has arrows. Once it runs out of arrows, obviously it's going to quit firing. Now I know it'll fire at me through a, fe Oops, through a fence, but will it fire at me if there's a block in the way? Yes. So the arrow gun will fire even if there's no way for it to hit its target. As long as there is... Let's see if this will actually... Yeah, it's still shooting. So the arrow gun sees right through blocks and it'll just keep shooting at whatever's in front of it. So it's, it's pretty simple, but you know, you, I can see a lot of uses for this. Even at low power, it does a good amount of damage. You can use this as a defensive weapon. It's not the most, you know, eye-catching, eye-popping, or interesting weapon, but it's certainly effective and cheap to make, cheap to maintain. So there you go, that's the arrow gun. Next episode, we're going to talk about the heat ray, because it just so happens to be the next one in line. Um, which I had the heat ray is, is pretty darn awesome. So we're going to go straight down the list. So sorry if you wanted to see the railgun because it's going to be a while. It's going to be even longer for things like uh, uh, the air pressure gun or the EMP machine. And anyway, uh, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, stay tuned for next episode of talking about the heat ray. And I'm Sentinel H and I'm signing out.